Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Snows, your host for Boot Sequence, and as you might know, I'm a fan of all tech news. Oh, okay, it disconnected itself. Roll the intro. As most of you might know by now, NVIDIA likes switcheroos. With the multiple variants of 1060s, 1050s, and 1030s, it's hard to keep track of which models perform most similarly to each other. While with the 1060s and 1050s, you're getting about the same amount of performance, the 1030 is a little bit of a different story. Yesterday, Random Gaming in HD on YouTube posted a video of him comparing the DDR4 and DDR5 versions of the GT 1030, and the results are a lot worse than I would have thought. The DDR4 the DDR4 version seems to perform 40 to 50% worse than the DDR5 version. With most games, you go from around 50 to 60 FPS down to the low to high 20s. That's just crazy. With the new 1053 GB model in the wild, I hope that the decrease in memory bandwidth won't affect it as much as it does with the 1030. Speaking of GPUs, Ares is not dead. Last week, a fake Twitter account spread the rumor that Asus would terminate its new Ares branding for AMD graphics card. Well, it seems it was all a hoax since an Asus spokesperson contacted PC Gamer to let them know that the Ares is still well and alive. This is great news in my opinion. I mean, yes, Ares was born out of the GPP, which was an atrocious attempt by Nvidia at dividing the partners. But I think that this child will grow strong with the years. Go on, Ares, and forge the path to great looking GPUs for Team Red. Moving on, the malicious Spectre flaw gets a little brother. Microsoft and Google disclosed that another flaw was discovered in November last year. It's called Speculative Store Bypass and it uses, you guessed it, the speculative part of the CPU. If you want to know what Speculative Store Buffer Bypass means, I'll link to a video down below that explains it pretty well. While this flaw is less than a risk compared to Meltdown or Spectre, it will still impact the performance of a PC. Intel is already preparing its own CPU changes for the future to protect against speculative class attacks, and we hope AMD does the same. And yes, in case you didn't know, AMD is affected by some variants of Spectre. All right, let's jump into my favorite segment, in case you didn't know. Haven't done that one in a while. Instagram adds a mute button so you can stop seeing someone's content without having to unfollow them. Now you'll be able to mute that unfunny friend that posts unfunny memes every hour. Thank you, Instagram, it's greatly appreciated. Then we have Twitter that is cutting off developer tools because they want to steer people into using the native Twitter app instead of third party ones. It's a very selfish move considering Twitter was already limiting the amount of users an app could have for the very same reason. I'm guessing this has to do with the ads that can run on Twitter versus third party apps, but it kind of sucks to see that happening. Following that, we have Osic, a very successful Kickstarter that failed. The 3D audio headphone maker that raised around 3.2 million just announced that it would shut down the company after tens of thousands of pre-orders on their Kickstarter. They managed to build around 250 pair of headphones and only shipped a few dozen to Kickstarter backers. At least out of that, there's a Facebook group with over a thousand members threatening to sue them with a class action lawsuit. And if you didn't know, well, now you know. All right, let's move on into some gaming news. Fortnite's jetpacks are now live. There's only about a five to 8% chance you can find one in the chest since it's a gold item, but you can always get the kill on a flying enemy to strap it to yourself. The jetpack is the first of the new backpack type of item, which means we might see more of them. Personally, I hope they expand on the backpack type of item soon. Maybe a shield on people's back, maybe thrusters to move faster, sort of like Tracer, but a lot slower. I don't know, but I'm excited to see what Epic's game will think of. Next we got Battlefield 5 which has a 12 second trailer on their YouTube channel and announced a live reveal today at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. This boot sequence will be live on YouTube before the live reveal so as soon as the link becomes available I'll put it in the description down below where you can also find all of the sources for today's video. And now to answer a question from the audience, boom! If you had the chance to buy a team and be the leader, what kind of team would you buy? Honestly, a game development team is probably where I would go. As long as I'm able to just tell them, hey, I want this gameplay, I want that, do it. 
I'm good. And what's that? Bonus question, yes. Do you remember your first computer? I remember having a computer back in elementary school. And even back then, it was one of those huge computers with like big floppy disk that you would put in and you would have to twist some little thing. I only played Solitaire and Reversi on it because I couldn't afford, well, I mean, I, my family couldn't afford the internet. But yeah, I do remember it. Thanks for asking. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the news, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Stay frosty and click right here right here for the latest video and right here to subscribe to the channel it would be greatly appreciated don't forget to leave a like i mean i don't say that often enough and the the little notification bell that's also nice all right i'm, I'm i think that's pretty much it stay frosty